welcome into Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah presents me, Deborah on Vlog Toba. Crochet Toba. I don't know where that accent just came from. Today is the 12th. I just had to look at my laptop to find out. Um, I'll probably be yawning through this one too. After work every day, I yawn. All I had to do was think about it and I started doing it. What is wrong? It was only a nine hour day today, but I may yet get a text having to go back and do some more from my director. So yeah, I never know. Uh, by the way, got to show off my Halloween nails. That is Color Street, not affiliated, just bought some. I try to get them on Halloween every year because I can't do nail art. These are essentially like nail polish stickers. Um, they last way longer than a regular manicure for me because I'm hard on my nails. I, I just, I don't baby my nails at all. Um, so yeah, Halloween-y and oh, oh, look, is it a stitch marker or is it an earring? Yes. Yes, it is. These are made by Miss Lisa at Ladybird Loves. You can use them as stitch markers, but they are on sterling silver leverbacks. So you can also stick them in your ear and uh, wear them. I suppose you could stick them in your nose too, but that would be weird, you know, hanging down that far. Eek. I used to have my nose pierced, but I started to get a keloid and I had to let it close up. That makes me sad because I miss my little nose ring. Anyway, we are crocheting. Yes, besides work, we're crocheting. Um, you may have seen this in the thumbnail. I'm making another divine hat, probably a couple of them or maybe something else for a hat too. This is a roll with it tweed in the color seagrass. I won this from Miss Gina at Knitting Turnpike several months ago and um, I've just been waiting for the right project for it. And Crochet by Night is doing um, sort of a collection for hats and scarves and gloves and socks and things. They can be purchased or they can be made. Um, for homeless folks and folks just in need because the cold weather is coming and she said the people that come to her area like college students and stuff they don't realize how cold it gets there in the winter time I think she's in like part of Oklahoma um, and they're kind of not prepared sometimes people that are just new there they're unprepared they don't have the money to go buy winter stuff I mean you know you don't think about that stuff when you move someplace necessarily I was working on this last night I did not get finished obviously I still have uh, another I have a row, this row of double crochet to finish and then I have the ribbing to finish up and then this will be done I'm kind of like obsessed with the divine hat now I love the way it looks and it's a super easy repeat it's a super easy pattern to do so there is that and I'm gonna make something else I'm gonna make another hat maybe another hat and a scarf and I'm probably gonna pick up a pack or two of socks because especially among the homeless population socks are really important and I can't make a sock to save my life we're not going there but a pack of good durable soft warm socks um, could go a long way could help a few people so I'm gonna go do that when I make it to the world of wall next uh, oh speaking of Walmart um, I was watching the back of day uh, vlog channel the other day. It's a lot of fun to see their vlogs. Um, and they were at Walmart looking for something and they happened to pan past something um, in the uh, stationary aisle. The pens, the pencils and all that stuff, which I am also obsessed with. Yeah, I just am. Ask anybody who knows me in person. Ooh, office supplies. And I'm off. Just like yarn. Yeah, yeah, multiple obsessions. It's okay. But I saw something that was labeled Trapper Keeper. What? Anybody from my age-ish, I am 51, I'll admit that wholeheartedly, um, Trapper Keeper was the stuff, okay? Trapper Keeper and Lisa Frank. I managed to find some Lisa Frank stuff every now and then. Very colorful, over the top. I love it. But Trapper Keeper has sort of been missing in action for years, and I don't know why, because they were really cool and good. They had a little flap over, you know, with the little Velcro and different designs of them. Yes, Trapper Keeper. If they have them, I'm buying one. I don't know what the heck, when you get some more baby to put patterns in or something, but oh my gosh, to have a Trapper Keeper after 35 years. Wow. 
wow. And I, I, I actually rewound the video and watched it again. They weren't talking about it. Just, they were just looking for something else, and it just happened to be on the shelf. And I was like, oh, Trapper Keeper. Yeah, I don't, yeah. <sighs> anyway, there is other stuff happening as well. I got some good mail today. And yes, I did open it. I uh, ordered some Sips By. I went ahead and did a three month subscription to try it out, to see if I like it, to try different teas. There are four different types of teas in here. And I think what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna have a little mini series, a mini series, ooh, like movies, no, but not, you know. Uh, I'll pick a day of the week and I will do tea reviews and uh, talk about the teas that I get and talk about this. I purchase this with my own money. I just think it would be kind of fun to try out. I do love tea, but um, yeah. And I pretty much told them, uh, yes, I like everything, nearly everything, give me all the things. I, don't limit me, I can have caffeine or not caffeine, it doesn't matter. And I've got a good variety in here. I have two loose teas and two tea bag teas and they give you the little disposable bags to where if you don't have the little tea strainer and stuff, you can you know use that instead which is really cool i do have a tea strainer though i will try out the little bags see if i like them so yes that will be coming soon don't know exactly when but yes it will be coming soon and i will get to try some new tea well because i'm usually an english breakfast girl unless it's the night time and then i usually get some kind of vanilla or vanilla chai or something but yeah i also like herbal teas i don't mind the pink package herbal tea um yes i know that my pink is offensive to some I think uh, just clutch your pearls for a little while longer because maybe tomorrow I'll wear something else like blue or purple or black. Yeah. We're having customer service week at work right now and we're all virtual on our team. Actually, most of the company is unless you have to physically interact with people or physically interact with the equipment. And so we're doing like customer service week, you know, on like essentially Zoom meetings. Um, Today, we had to pick a background to put up about where we'd like to go on vacation. And I picked uh, actually a, a town in Mexico, just outside of Querétaro. Uh, Tequis, it's known as Tequis, but it's got a really long name and it's beautiful. It's like a painted city. Everything is colorful. And yeah, I, I'd really love to go there, you know, eat, see the sights, walk around and just enjoy the beautiful weather because People think, oh, Mexico is so far south, it must be very, very hot. Yeah, parts of Mexico are very, very hot. But in a lot of it, it's a higher elevation and it's a lot cooler. Um, so yes, I'd love to go to Querétaro. I'd love to go to uh, Guadalajara because that's a big city that has a huge art scene and stuff and that would be fun. But sorry, tangent, squirrel, um, office supplies. Anyway, my spider blanket today is... A little bit it's got a little bit more on it um, I emptied out two scrap balls today going around once and not even completely around I went this is my third side I used a white scrap ball that I had and I used a purple that I had so I went down almost two sides with the purple and I went down a side and a smidge with the white Tomorrow I will make up for it and add um, to even it up because I like having a full round done. It's kind of bothering me that I've only got a partial here. Um, yeah, I might even finish that tonight because it kind of is bothering me. I don't mind mixed colors, but I don't like it ha just being partially finished. Notice I didn't even weave in my end. I did this at lunch. My timer was going off. It was time to go back. I'm like, err. And yeah, that was the very end of it. So yes. <laughs> It's been really fun watching everybody's blankets grow. Um, and uh, Kayla, Lava Mama Kayla, and Ashley um, of Stitch It Ain't Easy, both have been adding, like, other their viewers have sent them pictures and stuff of their blankets because other people are doing it too. And they've been posting them at the end. And one um, creator has skulls on hers, and it's so cool. They're little, yes. I, I'm, I'm here for it. I really am. <laughs> I love it. I, I just, I love Halloween. I love all things Halloween. And yeah, Halloween could be all year round and that wouldn't bother me a bit. Especially the Halloween weather because here it's not too bad. I'm not up north where, you know, you get snow on Halloween. Although one year I was living in a place behind my grandmother's house 
And it was in a little town called Blairsville, Georgia, which is northwestish Georgia, pretty close to the North Carolina line. And it um it was cold. We had a freeze. The Halloween party lasted three days. <laughs> Some people couldn't leave. They couldn't get out. So it's like, hey, we still have booze. I was young. Okay. I got most of that out of my system well before I turned 21. Uh, but yeah, we just, we stayed warm by drinking uh, for about three days. Ran out of booze and went, huh, maybe we should go get more. Or maybe y'all, some of y'all should just go home. We were down to about two or three people by that point. But it was a blast. Uh, there was music. There were games. You know, it was just there was silliness and I enjoyed it. Um, that was a fun Halloween party. <laughs> and I was like, oh gosh, how old was I? I think I was 19 or no, I had to have been 20 because it was before I turned 21 or maybe I had just turned 21. Yeah. By the time I was in Georgia, I moved to Georgia when I was 20 and I had just turned 21 before that Halloween and it was cold that Halloween, big old freeze. Yeah, but most of the time it's not that cold here. So yes, give me Halloween weather all, all year long and spooky stuff and all kinds of stuff like that. That's just fun. It's fun to me. I love it. I will have everybody listed that I know is doing these Vlogtober, Crochettober videos down below. Um, if you're doing it and I don't have you listed, let me know. I would love to hear about it. I would love to see your videos if you're doing videos. I would love to see your pictures. Um, I do have a fledgling Facebook group that I don't post nearly enough in and it's really small. Join that and post your pictures there and every place else. We are a big fun community and I appreciate you coming by. I know I got kind of hyper down. I don't know what that's all about. Um, maybe it's not working a full 12 hours. <laughs> see y'all soon see you tomorrow for more crochet tober let's see how much more i can get done on this let's see if i can get this hat done plus maybe another one um because i am looking forward to sending her some stuff and be sure and watch her video i've got it linked down below and if i remember i'll pop it up here wherever that happens to be and i'll link it at the end so that you can go and check out crochet by night and see what she's doing because i think it's a good thing and I think you will too. See y'all soon. Bye now.